Okay, come with us as we make a delicious tuna and macaroni salad and visit a really unique and unusual grocery store. Welcome to the Farm and Pastor's Wife. Today has been a farm work day, so yeah. Anyway, I had a hankering for pasta salad, and I have this summer fresh pasta salad that I always make, and it is so good, but some of my ingredients that I had stored and ready for that pasta salad got used in stir fries by this one. By me. Yeah, so I don't have the stuff to make this one, that that pasta salad, but I do have the stuff to make my tuna macaroni salad, and it's just as refreshing and just as good. So, I've got some water back here getting hot. I'm going to put a little salt in it. It's getting hot. Um, I've got these two cans of tuna. Now, you can... Um, if this, we like to have this several days worth, and so if, um, this is too much for you, divide this recipe if it's too much. Um, we, we always like to, especially stuff like this that tastes good the longer it sits, um, we like to make a lot of it. So, you can actually divide this recipe in half, use one can of tuna, use eight ounce box instead of a 16 ounce box. I've got macaroni noodles. That's what my water's getting hot for. And I'm just flaking this tuna up in here. For it's in the big chunks, I just flake it up a little bit. My tripod goes back and forth between our house and the church uh, because we do Facebook Live at church. And if you guys want to check out and hear some really good preaching, and of course I'm biased, but I think he is a great preacher. If you want to hear some of his messages, some of you have asked me about his messages and how you can hear him preach. Um, you can go to Brower's Wesleyan Church Facebook page and like our Facebook page, and we we live stream um every Sunday morning. So this coming Sunday, it we have Friends Day and we have a guest speaker, so he won't be on there this coming Sunday, but tune in. It's going to be really good. Uh, but again, that's Browers, B-R-O-W-E-R-S, Wesleyan Church. Like our page and you can um, hear him preach every Sunday, unless we have a guest speaker. Okay, so I've gotten the um, tuna flaked up. I'm going to take an onion. We're going to use about a cup. I had a knife. About a cup of chopped onion. And I wish I had my tripod. Anyway, what I was saying is I took my tripod to church and I forgot to bring it home. Um, so, you're going to use about a half a cup to a cup. I use a half a cup if I'm doing this recipe smaller, but since I'm doing, you know, the two cans of tuna, I'm going to do try to do a cup of onion. A little, I'm just going to use one onion. I'm not really going to measure. It's what it is is going to be what it is. Bryant is not all that fond of raw onion. So... Sometimes I go a little less than what I normally would. And I also cut the pieces up a little bit finer than I normally would. It's not that he's opposed, used to, he wouldn't, he wouldn't dare eat raw onion. Now he likes it, he just doesn't like big chunks of it, if that makes any sense. And, all right. 
that's probably almost a cup maybe a little more than a half I may put just a little bit more in not a lot more just a little bit And since I'm doing it finer, um, that's why I'm making so many cuts in my onion. <laughs> so I can get them small. Now, my macaroni says to um, cook for about 8 to 10 minutes. I like my new pasta to have a little bit of a bite I'll, to be al dente um, I prefer it that way all right so I think I'm good on the onion so now we're gonna put in two cups of mayonnaise now you can cut back on that as well if you're happy in this recipe it's gonna be one cup but if you like more or less, as an average, two cups on this recipe. Um, but if you like less mayonnaise, you can go, or Bryant thinks if I go just a little bit less than what the recipe calls for, it's helping his weight. <laughs> it don't work that way. But anyway, um, let me grab the mayonnaise. And I don't usually measure. Now, my recipe calls for two cups. But, I don't necessarily measure out two cups of mayonnaise. You surely can if you want to. I normally just eyeball and think, well, that looks like a third. And depending on how much, okay, there's a cup. And because I did a little more on that one. I just eyeball it because, like I said, once I taste it, if I realize that it needs more mayonnaise, now I'd rather go less than more because you can always add, you cannot take out. We're going to, um, we're going to this place called Super G, and I think it's like an Asian market. Um, my water's boiling. I hear it. I may put just a drop of oil in here just to keep it from sticking together. I'm going to turn it on for eight minutes and get something to stir it with. So I'm going to take you guys with us to this Asian market. Um, Isaac is really big into exotic and weird fruits. There's this one particular fruit he is on the hunt for. And he says it smells like stinky cheese or stinky feet. And he wants this fruit. You can come in. So I'm adding a little bit of salt and pepper. And I'm going to mix it up. <clears throat> As Bob Marley said, stir it up. Stir it up. Look how creamy that is. Look. Mayonnaise. Look, there's no pepper in there. No pepper. I need to fill my pepper jar. All right, we hope you guys enjoyed our like our low country bowl that we did recently for you guys. We if you didn't watch it, go back and find it. We'll try to put a link at the bottom. I've just left visiting uh, someone at the hospital. Uh, goes to church with us, and they were asking me all kind of questions because they saw the uh, video and so. Oh, they watched it. Yeah, so we hope you guys have watched it as well. So. I gave them our link to our Facebook page oh, so good. they can listen to you preach. Yeah, that's good. We hope that you are able to enjoy that. And if by chance you can't find it there, you can uh, 
Uh, look me up on Facebook, Bryant Madren, same last name as Leslie, M-A-D-R-E-N. And uh, uh, first name Bryant, and you can see me there. So Send, send him a friend request and he'll accept you. That's right. All right, what's next, Mom? We're going to put in four tablespoons of sweet pickle relish. Sweet pickle relish. Four tablespoons. Four heaping tablespoons. Shoot. Not heaping. All right, that's well, one. That's Uno. Okay. Dos, Remember, you can always add, but you can't take tres, it out. Tres, cuatro. Okay. Right, so four, now we're just waiting on the macaroni. Tablespoon. So, all right. We're going to stir this in and see if it's the consistency we like. So you guys hang tight. we got about five more minutes left on the macaroni. And as uh, soon as it uh, the timer goes off, we'll be back together. We hope you enjoy <laughs> this little tuna salad, uh, easy summer uh, treat that she likes to uh, enjoy. So, see you in just a second. Okay, guys, the noodles have finished, so I'm going to taste and make sure they're soft enough. You want to do it or you want me to? You do it. They're hot. That was a perfect. Okay, I'm going to show you what I do because you want to get all the liquid out of your noodles. So I'm going to, well, I don't know if you can see. I told them I left my tripod at church. You can see. All right, I have my colander in here. Colander? <laughs> colander. You better watch your fingers. I got it. You go ahead. Stop the cooking. Cold water over your noodles will stop the cooking because you don't want them to get any softer. And then I take my colander and I just shake it really good. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake. shake, shake your noodles. Shake your noodles. <laughs> noodles. Alright, is that good, Mom? Very good. Alright. We'll turn you back around here for the lights good. All right, here we go. Back in business. Here's the, uh, mayonnaise, the mixture. mayonnaise mixture we have on the go. Here are the noodles. We just uh, gently toss them into the, uh, the mayonnaise mix. And then uh, she just simply takes a wooden spoon and tosses the noodles in with the mayonnaise mix. Once again, the key is to get the noodles pretty dry because if not... Your, uh, the your, mayonnaise won't stick to it. Your, your salad becomes watery. Becomes watery. The mayonnaise won't stick to the noodles, so uh, you want it to be a good consistency. So, uh, for me, I can eat this right here, right now, and it's really good. It's better when it sits and it gets cold. Right. It's better when it's cold. This is a great side to any cookout or or anything like that. It's very simple and easy and very inexpensive to make a, a can of tuna cost uh, at, uh, at Audi that's where we get that white albacore tuna it costs like a dollar dollar fifteen a can the noodles a box of noodles like two bucks so this is a really inexpensive side to, to any any cookout or any meal so and, and the great thing is other than a side we keep this made and in the refrigerator a lot during oh, the summertime it's a great lunch. and you just we just get it out eat a little bit on the run uh, maybe eat a little bit with, with a, uh, a bologna sandwich or a tomato sandwich during the summertime so you ready to try it? I'm ready. You ready? He can eat it hot. Mm. That is bee-wishes. Does it need anything? Uh, just to be eaten. Just to be eaten. I'm going to cover it with tin foil, stick it in the refrigerator, and we'll have it for... So we're having a simple supper tonight. We're having chicken patty sandwiches, like the frozen chicken patties. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. Look how good that looks. And we're going to take you with us to this grocery store thing that we don't know get, anything about. I need to get down here since you don't have the tripod. <laughs> okay. Y'all, we, we used to camp in a camper. And every summer and every summer vacation, we took this and we made it while we were there. And so we'd come in from the beach. We were hot. And we'd just get in the refrigerator and scoop us out a big plate of this. It is so good. Now, my other pasta salad is even more refreshing and even more delicious than this. It's totally opposite than this. Not anything alike, but it's really good too. I can't wait to make that one for you. 
Delicious. I'm going to stick in the refrigerator and I'll see you when we go to the grocery store or the Super G Asian Mart. It's a fish market and it's got weird fruit. And I told you Isaac was into this really weird fruit. So that's why we're going because he wants to see the weird fruit. I'll see you at the grocery store. This is a jackfruit. I'm getting here some Korean sweet potatoes. Look at all these root vegetables. Taro. Ghana yam. Oh, y'all, here is jicama. I love jicama. It's like a sweet turnip. I really like jicama. Well, you can, honey, you look. We're looking ourselves. We're, this is new to us. Look at them aloe vera leaves. Cactus pear? Cactus pear. Tuna verde. Once you get what it's what it is there. Oh my goodness, what's this right here? Has he seen this? Oh, it is very prickly. Very prickly. Very look prickly. Look at this Chinese open. Look, I can't even pronounce these things. Oh my word. That, my friends, is a big old okra pod. Did you see that prickly thing? This here, this is Thai okra. Oh, is what's that? That, that's, that is Chinese okra. That's Chinese. And this Chinese is, okra is the great is, big one. This is Thai okra. And that's Thai okra. Oh my goodness. That almost looks like a butternut squash. Indian bitter melon. Isaac, do you see that? Oh, there's yellow, yellow tumor. Y'all, this place is the neatest place I have ever been. I mean, I probably won't buy anything much, but it's neat to come in and see this stuff. Here is a Korean radish. Good gracious, and a Japanese radish. It's sugar cane. And they have real sugar cane. Is that not the most awesome thing ever? We're amazed at all this neat stuff. He's, you're amazed at what? Wait till you hit the ramen. Water chestnuts. Water chestnuts before they're sliced, I'm and assuming. And I hate them. And you hate them. <laughs> he does hate them. <laughs> Look at that Napa cabbage. Let's see what this is. Lemongrass. You know, and the prices aren't terrible bad. Mmm, bean sprouts. I wonder what Jack is with the bean sprouts. <laughs> 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 
I don't know what a banana flower is. A lotus lily root. Counter is like tofu. All kinds of different tofus and stuff. What is it? Pig ear. Pretty fresh too. Look at the eyes. Okay guys, this whole aisle is all different types of like ramen noodles. All you can see is ramen noodles in the center. This is all kinds of Japanese sauces, this whole aisle. Japanese sauces and dressings and marinades. We had to stop by Sam's. <laughs> Look who I found. <laughs> oh, mercy. Okay, so we've made it home, and I've just been eating the tuna macaroni salad. When you get out of the refrigerator, remember you need to stir it back up. Stir it up. <laughs> Bob Marley. Um... <clears throat> And then I think I could have used a few more sweet pickles, sweet relish. But other than that, it's perfect. So I'm going to add some sweet relish to it. We got to go now, catch a few cows, and then I got to come home and string beans. Tomorrow is going to be a preserving day for me because Caroline picked a five gallon bucket full of cucumbers. So I've got a few green beans to put up. They're just starting to come in. But my cucumbers are like on overdrive. So. Y'all make this tuna macaroni salad. It is so good. We didn't even do the chicken patty sandwiches. It's our supper. So. Y'all have a good night. Thank you for watching the Farm and Pastor's Wife. And remember. If the grease is hot enough, you can fry anything. Bye. Thanks for watching.